You know what game I've been seeing everywhere on my YouTube lately? That's right, the Suica game, or watermelon game for you non-weeaboos. But you know what game I've been playing lately? That's right, League of Legends. That aside, lately, YouTube has been non-stop showing me streamers and YouTubers playing the Suica game. So, I definitely had to give it a go myself. You know what I found out I wasn't very good at? That's right. Legal as Suica game. So, I made an AI who can play it better than I can. <laughs> to begin, I wanted to write an AI that can learn to play the game through reinforcement learning a form of machine learning where my AI will play the game over and over and over again, many, many times. Depending on how well it does, I give it a reward. Depending on how it performs in-game, I will give it rewards of varying sizes. If it performs very well at the game, I give it a large reward. If it performs not so well, I'll give it a not so large reward. Over hundreds or thousands of games, it hopefully learns what actions are good and cause it to receive a large reward, and what actions cause it to play like me. Not good. We're good? Alright, come on, come on. Come on, another, another- A problem I immediately ran into was that the Suica game was only available on the Nintendo Switch. This means that it might be a little difficult for my AI to interact with and actually play the game. Unlike me, my AI doesn't have any hands or fingers, and is unable to press the buttons on my half-broken Joy-Cons. No, but for real. The real issue was that in order for reinforcement learning to be effective, I want the AI to be able to play the game a lot. Like, thousands of times a lot. Because the game was only available on the Switch, this would not be feasible. Seeing as the game was originally made in Unity, I decided that I wanted to first make a playable version of the game myself, in Unity. So let's go! Because I wanted to create an AI that would be able to learn and play the actual game, I wanted my environment in Unity to match the actual game as well as possible. So I utilized a screenshot as well as countless hours of me actually playing the game to get the sizes of the fruits as well as the overall feel of everything to be as close as I could get it. At this point, I had a rough working version with none of the visual components added yet. What will eventually be the cloud that the player controls is able to move left and right with the A and D keys. I was also able to drop a colored ball representing fruit with the spacebar. When two of the same fruit touched, it merged to become bigger. Or at least that's how I wanted it to work. Uh... Yeah, so after trying to read through and fix the code that I wrote yesterday at 5am, I THINK I fixed all the problems. Now I'm saying I THINK because I have no idea what I wrote yesterday. But I haven't run into the bugs again. For all I'm concerned, if I don't see them again, I'll pretend they don't exist anymore. Now, let's get the game looking a little better. And after taking all the assets from the original game... Shh, don't tell Nintendo. This is what it looks like now. Not bad if I say so myself. I even added the little bar on top of the box so that the fruits visually pass behind it. Wow. One more little touch up later and pow! I've added a score counter and a leaderboard. The leaderboard will track the best three scores obtained in the session of gameplay. Oh yeah, and I also added these firebreak effects when you lose. And after playing on this version for a while, it felt pretty good and similar to the actual game. So now it's finally time to train an AI agent to play it instead of me. In order to play the game, the AI agent will perform two simple actions. First, it will choose a location to move to by moving left or right. Then, it chooses to wait and do nothing, or drop the fruit. In order for it to learn how to do these actions well, I give it the following information. 
its own location along the top of the box, the current fruit in its hand, and also the next fruit coming up. In addition, I also give it the location, type, and velocity of every single fruit inside the basket currently. My hope is that with this information, it will eventually learn that when two fruit make contact, they fuse and the AI will get a reward. In a game where it gets many fruit to combine, it gets a much bigger reward than if it just loses immediately without combining any fruit. After a quick testing session to ensure that the training setup worked, which I unfortunately forgot to record, I set up a duplicated array of my original setup to greatly speed up the training process. As the game was set up in such a way that each individual component can contribute to the weights of the same neural net. And with that, I decided to leave my computer on overnight to train. Here goes nothing! In the morning, I compared the results with the short testing session I ran yesterday, where the AI did not learn much besides hugging a left wall, which I really don't think worked at all. The results after an entire night of training were a lot more promising. After 8 hours and over 5,000 games, it managed to reach an average of over 1,500 points. It also reached a high score of over 2,700. To put these numbers into perspective, I have personally never reached 2,700 before. I also compared the AI's gameplay to the gameplay of a few friends and family. Surprisingly, the AI performed similarly as well, if not better, than all of them on their first few tries playing the game. So, with all things considered, I can say, yeah, the AI definitely learned how to play the game at an acceptable level. To finish the project off, I added some sound effects and music along with a color changing background to help keep things fresh. Before I let the AI just play in the background, I have attached a playable version that I made in the description below. For the rest of the video, I'll just let the AI run until it's able to get a watermelon, something that, unfortunately, I still have not been able to do. So, I hope you all enjoy!